here in Paris today to celebrate the launch of Lisa Cooper's book with just an idea and uh, to talk about her work and Louise's work as well. Um, Lisa Cooper is a florist based in Sydney, Australia. Uh, Louis is a florist based here in, in Paris. So yeah. How you uh, first became a florist because uh, it wasn't your first path in life and no. it certainly wasn't um, uh, you didn't come from it from the most traditional way. So, um, so what were you doing before you yeah. became a full-time flower artist? So I studied art for many years. I, um, I studied painting for three years and I painted predominantly in white so that I could pick up the textures of the paint without having to be influenced by colour. So I, um, I've, also, I've always had a very definite um, and attention-driven kind of practice, even as a very young artist. And, um, and then uh, I went on to study sculpture, performance and installation and um, did an undergraduate degree for three years. Um, and then a master's and uh, a PhD in the end, because I just couldn't stop. Um, and I had a lot to say. Um, and uh, during the last few, uh, during the time that I was writing my thesis, I got a job in a flower shop very accidentally. Um, and I, I had no interest in it. It was just that somebody crossed my path and said that um, with my background in art, um, they thought that this might be a good undertaking. Um, and yeah, as soon as I put my hands on the flowers, I understood that I could command the medium in a way that I had never been able to command any medium. And I had some success. I'd exhibited all over the world. Um, yeah, I was proficient, but there was magic with the flowers. I could literally, um, I have a philosophical disposition and point of view um, that I really can't escape. So I feel like the flowers and my study and um, I, yeah, it's very much an innate part of me. And Louis, you also had quite a, a, a parkour, a very different life before beginning your, your business here. Can you tell us about what you were doing before? I learned the flower since uh, ever, but I see the flower not as uh, decorative, but as medium. Uh, I don't know uh, drawing. Um, I met my uh, part of inspiration of art by taking pieces and make some arrangements in books or in the flats or decoration. But uh, with flower, I found um, a new idea of uh, abstraction. When I discover the, the work of Lisa, I see um, something behind immediately. I discover for the first time, because Lisa is having in my studio, for the first time, the part of um, space of uh, composition. And uh, I discover another work, because Lisa, for me, is uh, the best flowers in the world. And uh, she do uh, the things with uh, a lot of um, mysticism. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she creates not for a but sculptural aspects. And uh, for me, I prefer abstraction. And uh, I see it in her first composition, like a like part of art that I love, like a sponge relief of clump. Of green, of uh, pink, of and uh, she showed me a way to to do uh, other things with flower. And uh, now it's amazing. I think there's such an incredible diversity of 
sculpture in, in Lisa's work. Um, the book that uh, this talk is accompanying really shows that in, in texture and form and in colour. Um, you know, when I went to Italy a few years ago and made work there, I found chestnuts and it blew my mind. Like the way that they emerge um, from that furry, hard, and oh my, oh my God, it, even I still can't really get over it to the point where I nagged Louis, but I've nagged him so much in the last few days that he's lost track. <laughs> and I kept asking Louis to get me black um, parrot tulips because at home, there's one grower and every single morning, I go to the market three times a week and every single market, I'm like, have you got me the black parrot tulips yet? Mm -hmm. And he just goes, <laughs> and I've literally been asking him that question for like five years um, <laughs> because I once saw them and I need, I need to compose them. I feel like perhaps that is one aspect that I'm able to bring to a viewer of my work is that I love them and I am so in awe of them. And I think that, um, you know, this is so off topic, but I think that it's because, um, you know, I spent my childhood watching my father die, that to see things in bloom is like, I mean, you said in your piece of writing in the book here that, um, you said that the you know the flowers are the one thing that keep me tethered to the earth, 